Fine, I'll make another comparison video. Okay, so a little while back I made a comparison video about what I thought were the best vans you should consider if you were going to live in a van full time. Um, you guys gave me a lot of great feedback on that video. I got a lot of support from you guys. I want to thank you for that. Got some critical ones too. Uh, there are a lot of comments about wanting an even smaller van to live in. Maybe you want to be able to go through drive throughs or park in a normal garage or park in a parking garage or you just don't feel like you need all the space that a big van has. If you fit into that category, I think you should check out the Ford Transit Connect, the Ram Promaster City, the Nissan NV200, or the Mercedes-Benz Metris. Okay, so we're looking at the Ford Transit Connect, and the one I'm showing you here is the extended version. There's two lengths, there's a regular extended. Length on the extended is 189 inches. Cargo area, it's 128.6 cubic feet. Okay, let's talk about what's under the hood. It's a 2.5 liter Duratec uh, four-cylinder engine. The transmission is a automatic six-speed select shift. In the city, it will get around 20 miles per gallon, and on the highway, it should get 27, which gives you a combined of about 23 miles per gallon. Okay, so some interesting things. You have different options for the back doors. You can do the barn doors like we have on this one, or there's an option to do a lift gate. Storage is pretty good. I like that it has the overhead bin. Uh, it wasn't too hard to get from the back to the front. One thing that I noticed that's different on this van is that the cargo floor space is raised a little bit. It's like raised to the seat level instead of having a flat pan floor. All right, so we're looking at the Promaster City. I guess this is their passenger wagon version. Uh, they were nice enough to show me this, uh, so you'll just have to imagine the cargo version. But they're very similar, both on the outside are 187.1 inches long. So on the cargo van, it's going to give you 131.7 cubic feet of cargo capacity. It's got a 2.4 liter uh, four-cylinder engine. It has a nine-speed automatic transmission, and in the city it'll get 21 miles per gallon and 28 on the highway. Some of the notable features, there's this nice overhead compartment. The lock and unlock is, I don't know if it's cool or, or what, but it's interesting. All right, this is the NV200S cargo van. It is 186.3 inches long. Inside, the cargo area can hold 122.7 cubic feet. Underneath the hood, there's a two liter four cylinder gasoline engine. On the highway, this thing will get 26 miles per gallon and in the city, it should get 24 miles per gallon. So a combined of 25 miles per gallon is pretty good for a van of this size. Some other notable features are the 4060 split doors. The Nissan has a great factory warranty, which is five years or 100,000 miles. Uh, it has really small wheels, that's kind of weird it's 15 inch rims so this is the 2018 mercedes-benz mattress cargo there's a few different versions there's uh the cargo regular the cargo extended and then there's the worker version which is basically the cargo regular with a few, few fewer features. The regular is 202.4 inches long the extended is 211.4 
Inside, you're looking at 183 cubic feet for the regular, 199 for the extended. Underneath the hood, it's a two liter, four cylinder, turbocharged, direct injection gasoline engine. The transmission is, it's called a 7G Tronic automatic transmission. This gives you about 21 uh, miles per gallon in the city and 24 in the highway with a combined about 22 miles per gallon. The service intervals, so oil changes, things like that, are 15,000 miles. So there's different rear door options. There's, you can open it the 270 degrees or the 180 degrees, and then there's an optional flip up tailgate. I really appreciate that you guys stuck it through to the end of this video. I would love it if you subscribed and turned on notifications so you see when my next video comes out. Leave a comment below if you have uh, any opinions about these vans or if you own one, um, things that other people might find helpful. Also leave a comment if there's anything you want me to uh, talk about more in the future. I'm still relatively new to this and I'm kind of figuring out this channel. so. Uh, I would appreciate feedback.